From the Pennsylvania oil rush of the late 1800s, in the rural town of Bradford, McCourt Label Company, a custom label printer and converter, was founded, led by Newton McCourt. In 1901, he invented a label dispensing cabinet for drugstores. McCourt's company also supplied labels for the cabinets. Through the years, the company has reinvented itself many times as customers have migrated to newer technology. Digital printing for label applications has evolved, such as the Domino N610i. It became obvious that McCourt label would need to transition to the new, cleaner digital technology and their customers welcome the change. Hi, my name is Jessica Whiteman, customer service manager at McCourt Label. Place an order with us for a consecutive number of barcode labels. She called up and was absolutely ecstatic about the print quality and how quickly we got them to her. She wanted to know, how did you print this? I was happy to tell her that this is our domino, our, our brand new digital press, and so we're looking forward to many more calls just like this. Hi, I'm Jared Doraguzzi, a press operator for the McCourt Label Company. I like the Domino because of the speed, the quality, and the consistency. It's unbeatable. In the last five years, it became apparent to us that we really needed to invest in a digital press. So our vetting process was very thorough, and I think we looked at every major manufacturer out there variable imprinting capabilities and kind of made it a no-brainer to go with the Domino. The decision on when we decide to run a job digitally versus flexographic really depends on a lot of factors. If there's a lot of SKUs of a product, it obviously makes sense for us to run it digitally. So now we're finding that jobs that maybe we didn't think were going to be Domino jobs, that they are because of the higher print quality and lower scrap rate and less setup time, we're finding that we're moving those jobs to the machine as well. We'll look at some other factors, such as if it's a clear label and we're going to print white. We like to run that on the Domino because the white is so opaque. It just produces a really great looking label. Which leads us to where we are today with the uh, decision to invest in Domino printing technology. Now that we have the Domino in place and in production, we are moving uh, jobs to the Domino on a daily basis. We were able to sign on a new customer. They have a product. There was actually 228 different SKUs of this product. The trend now is multiple flavors of, of products. We are able to take a job that takes an entire shift and move it to the Domino, and now it takes us one hour to produce. So that is a very significant savings in, in time and material. And money. <laughs> it also opens up a lot of capacity for us, so there's definitely more pressure to fill up that machine. That's right. Get on, need to get on the sales force more often. <laughs> so we're looking to use the Domino not only for short run jobs, but also medium and longer run jobs in the 25,000 to 100 foot range, just because of the superior print quality and the speed that the press runs at is in many cases equivalent to our Flexo press. From a sales and estimating standpoint, some of the things that we liked about the Domino was the wide variety of substrates that we could run through the machine. We liked that we didn't have to deal with a blanket size when configuring how we were going to run jobs, and we also liked the durability of the UV inks. Really, the Domino is really opening our eyes to uh, expanded horizons. Thanks, Domino. Thanks, Domino. <laughs>